Cosmo Blog Talk Radio. We also want to give a special shout out to Ken and Jean Grady for allowing House C Production Gospel Blog Talk Radio to broadcast their television. Ken and Jean Grady, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. More coming your way here on House Southern Gospel Blog Talk Radio, Southern Gospel Music with Ken and Jean Grady. Enjoy. Music today. Now here are the hosts of Gospel Music Today. Ken and Jean Grady. We are glad you could be with us on Gospel Music Today. We have Southern Gospel News coming up, some concert updates, and Jean has a feature group. Our feature group this week is the King James Boys. I'll be talking to the members of Paul's Journey. Rod Tremme is retiring after four decades on the road, and the group will be retiring, too. We'll have that later in today's program. And you've been listening to some new music. Yes, one that's right off the press from the Kingsmen and another new one by the Lunas. And you've been reading. I've been out reading the singing news. We went to a concert at the Southern Gospel Weekend in Alabama. We heard the Williamsons sing exclusive video on today's program. And the archive. From a few years ago in Broken Arrow, Oklahoma, we heard the Representatives Quartet exclusive video on today's show. A lot going on. Let's get started. This is Gospel Music Today. The news is next. Sarah Reith of Stowtown Records' bluegrass band Southern Raised recently married David Nolan of Kansas. Sarah's sister, Lindsay Reith, is planning her wedding in November to Thomas Pangle of Georgia. Jonathan and Jordan Wilburn are recording a brand new Wilburn and Wilburn album. It's produced by Ben Isaacs and Scott Godsey. The Life FM Network has launched a new Southern Gospel radio station at WTPT 93.3 FM, serving all of upstate of South Carolina and a large area of western North Carolina. High Road has signed an exclusive recording agreement with New Day Records, which is part of Daywind Music Group. High Road is working on a new album. Point of Honor has joined the Mansion Entertainment family of artists. The trio's debut single is Going to a City, plus a brand new project called Living on the Edge. That's a look at some of the happenings in the world of Southern Gospel. You can keep up with the latest Southern Gospel news by reading SGN Scoops Digital Magazine. Take a look at their website at sgnscoops.com. And you can find more Southern Gospel news at our website, gospelmusictoday.com. We have been on the road. Yes, we have. We've been to Southern Gospel Weekend in Oxford, Alabama, and we were able to see our friends, the Williamsons from Oklahoma. I think we have a clip. Yes, we do. You know, I've been a Christian long as these guys up here have been alive, but I've never regretted a day I ever lived for Jesus Christ. Not a moment, not a mountain, not a mile. There are days my heart feels heavy And I struggle now and then But victory with Jesus is always sweet If I could go to the places I've And I would face every moment. 
We enjoyed our visit to Southern Gospel Weekend, and we always like to see the Williamsons. That's Lisa Williamson's little brother, Bo Chesser, singing lead now with the group. He did a great job. Yes, he did. Who has a birthday this week? Happy birthday to John Epley. John sings with greater vision, and his birthday is on September 11. And we wish a happy birthday to all our Southern Gospel friends. We will have more singing from the Williamsons coming up in just a little while. But first, Gene has been listening to some new music. The Kingsmen have a brand new CD, and it's called Victory Shout. The title song debuted at number 39 on the singing news chart the very first month out. Every song on the CD is great, and my two favorites are Dear John and King of Kings. That's Victory Shout by The Kingsmen. This is a concert update from Gospel Music Today. The Old Time Preachers Quartet will sing at the President Theater in Manchester, Georgia on September 20 at 7 p.m. If you're looking for a concert near you, check the search engine at gospelgigs.com. And you can always use the links at our website, gospelmusictoday.com. The King James Boys from Calpin, South Carolina, are an all-gospel bluegrass band that blends southern gospel harmonies with modern bluegrass sounds. Founded in 1994, the King James Boys started solely as a group that only sang at their church with no intentions of traveling. A few years later, after much encouragement and prayer, they were led to pursue ministering and singing abroad. Now, some years later, and a few personnel changes, the King James Boys are still doing what they started out doing and that is sharing the gospel with others through music. Members of the group are Randy Spencer, Jeff Dover, Cole Spencer, Curtis Lewis, and Will Hart. You can find out more about this week's feature group at thekingjamesboys.com. From Southern Gospel Weekend in Oxford, Alabama, we have more singing by the Williamsons coming up next on Gospel Music Today. Here's an old church song called The Message of His Coming.
Coming up next on Gospel Music Today, Ken visits with Paul's Journey. Welcome back to Gospel Music Today. We were at Gospel Music Fanfare in Somerset, Kentucky. We spoke to the members of Paul's Journey, and that's up next on Gospel Music Today. We are at Gospel Music Fanfare in Somerset, Kentucky. With me, the members of Paul's Journey, and standing right next to me, Rod Tremme. Rod, welcome to Gospel Music Today. So glad to be here. It's our first time to be at Fanfare since the days of Chattanooga. So All right. <laughs> it's been a long time. All right. So. Well, it's, this has been a great week so far. That's what I've here. heard, so we're okay. excited. Good night tonight. I'm going to ask you to introduce the current members of Paul's Journey. Sure will. Uh, to my right here is my baritone singer, Brad Davis. And, of course, the newest member of the group is, is Mark Green. And uh, there's one that's not here right now. Hopefully he may show up. I don't know. But uh, uh, Ron Higgins is our tenor singer. So. Okay. I'll talk to these guys uh, in, a, in a second. But first, um, of course, people have probably already seen the the news. Rod is retiring. Paul's yeah. journey is retiring. After 45 years? Is 40, that 42 years. Right. Yeah, I'd be 43 by the time uh, you know, we actually shut her down so uh, yeah started it was the relations quartet relations was that the quartet. very first yeah okay. it was and that was relations well we were we were yeah. related to each other actually we were, really were uh, brothers and cousins and um, all in the same little baptist church and and um, you know was raised up around gospel music all of our lives had came from a singing family not not a you know where they went out and sang but i'm talking about in the old days where you gathered around a piano you know and just sang and had a good time and that's that's where we kind of started from and and um and of course uh down through the years you know some of the guys have finally uh, moved on and we kept that name for quite a while because you know we just kind of took the motto of brothers related in christ so that name stuck for quite a while and uh, eventually I felt like I wanted something uh, to talk more about, uh, identified us more about a, our ministry instead of just who we were. And uh, 